What is going on guys? How are you all doing? This is Yix here at Magna Crypto and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I want to cover Kyber Network. So I've covered Kyber in the past before. You can see this video here or this video here. Um, I, have, I haven't covered them for a little while. So I wanted to do a little catch up and to see what Kyber is up to and then share with you guys. Um, I have full disclosure, I have, a, um, I have a little Kyber holding, so there's a little bias there, but I'll try to be as unbiased as possible. And what we're gonna do in this video uh, with this catch up is have a read of the October report and then look at some technicals. Before I get into that, a bit of housekeeping, if you haven't already done so, um, make sure to subscribe and like this video and also if you're new to crypto I've made a course for crypto beginners giving you all the fundamental tools you need to get started in the market as soon as possible um, and I've made it completely free so link for that is in the description I've also got a private telegram group where I put weekly slash daily insights a lot of technical analysis a lot of chart work as to what's happening in the market, individual coins and whatnot. So I try to add value in that group as well on a more daily basis. So link for that is in the description as well. Without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the October report, which was released a few days ago. So since their launch in 2018, they've been building Kyber one fundamental piece at a time. Um, into one of the best liquidity protocol and trade execution and settlement me mechanism available on a blockchain today. Starting with proving its security and transparency with the initial launch to building a diverse ecosystem around it the following year to further decentralizing it through the Kyber DAO governance mechanism over the last six months. Kyber has gone through important growth phase to get to where it is today little commentary on that 100% and it's all about slow sustainable growth when it happens to a project very quickly normally it can have sustain all that growth but the fact that they're doing it piece by piece um, met methodical is why Kyber is going to last um, for, for the long run after executing more than a million trades for over a hundred thousand addresses Kyber takes one more step um, forward with Kyber Pro, a new end-to-end -end framework that opens up on-chain market making to the broader world. A little bit more on that down here. With years of on-chain data to base our thesis on, we believe on-chain professional or manual market making is superior to automated market making. But so far, professional market makers have been wary of on-chain mechanisms due to their unique nature of blockchain settlement and lack of technical knowledge around this area. So Kyber have seen a problem and their solution to this is Kyber Pro because it tackles this head on by providing a complete end-to-end -end solution for market makers needs. So obviously that's a very um, important problem that this, they're solving. They wanna get professional market makers on which do you know, obviously big money projects for the likes of stock markets, FX, FX market, markets, and um, huge markets, basically. So they need to entice them to come over by making the barrier to ent entry much smaller. So they're providing end-to-end -end solution, an end-to-end -end framework to help solve that problem, to basically give them baby steps on how to actually become a market maker, an on-chain market maker. So solving a big problem here, and that's a big money, you know, move that they're doing. If they can, if it actually works for in the long run, which, you know, it should, because they're tackling obviously traditional finance with DeFi, that's a lot of money um, on the table right there. Obviously, um, Kyber DAO, which is now up and running, has been doing very well. Continue, it continues full steam ahead and took important decisions in October aimed at improving platform competitiveness. You can read, so you can read obviously, I'm gonna put the link in the description, so if you wanna read the full article, 
you can do so on on your own time. Kabidao also celebrated its one million dollar reward distributed milestone, and we look forward to many such milestones. So obviously, the the fact that I got to one million dollar rewards distributed um, means that a lot of people, including myself, have staked um, their KNC. So very important milestone. And on this channel, I always talk about use case, actual use case, and this is clear indication that it's being used. Um, Kyber.org improvements and community call. With feed feedback collected from the community since the launch of Kyber.org, the dev team have been busy making UX improvements and stakers can now claim their rewards for all epochs with the press of a single button. Again, you know, very, very engaged with the community. The community have spoken and they have listened. This is what crypto is all about. These centralized um, networks and it's about community. It's not about a centralized, you know, authority telling everyone what to do and making the decisions. It's about decentralizing all of that and the people having their voice heard and making the decisions. That's clear. That's this is the the real fundamental beauty and and need of crypto. It's be, especially it's exactly because of this. Um, the network stats have um, decreased. It's undeniable that volumes across both centralized and decentralized exchanges have cooled off over the last few months, while yield, yield farming activities has also reverted back to more moderate levels. This reflects in Kyber's on-chain data as we saw our rec a second consecutive month where volumes in USD and ETH decreased, while unique number of addresses and total trades have stabilized at September's levels. Very um, understandable. Um, up to, and we'll get into the TA in a moment. Up to August, September, DeFi was absolutely exploding. You know, on on a monster rally, and so every all the metrics on the def, different DeFi projects were absolutely you know gone on a on a crazy one. So once that kind of rally finished, all the metrics and activity slowed down naturally. So this is showing in the network stats. Uh, and again, you can you know read all this in your own time. I've chosen to cover these points um, as I feel they're most notable. Another notable, one of my other favorite picks, which is Ocean Protocol, is one of the new tokens on Kyber Network. So very exciting as well to see that. It gives it a little exp explanation as to what Ocean Protocol is. Connects data providers with consumers using blockchain, te che blockchain technology and the Ocean token to used as a unit for exchange. Uh, unit of exchange for data and IA services. So you can see the collaborations um, are key, um, and also for you know Ocean Protocol, this is fantastic um, to see the, you know that they're partnering up with the likes of KNC, and it's available on KNC. So in terms of liquidity, it's going to be fantastic for the network. And um, again, read all this in your own time. I've chosen um, specifically to read those particular parts. Also, they were on um, Forbes, uh, article released on Forbes. Uh, Kyber Network releases critical infrastructure to bring TradFi to DeFi, TradFi's traditional finance to DeFi. And this trend is obviously going to continue. Um, all traditional finance will be decentralized eventually. Make no mistake about that. Um, but again, you can read this in your own time. Um, but the exposure is always good. So with um, that out of the out of the way, let's get to the technicals. So firstly, let's have a look at the crypto ratios. You know, I like to look at ratios. Um, very important. So clearly there's um, two levels that I'm looking at. So you've got here this le level of support, um, which is acted as support here, got broken through, and then acted as support here before going on its run. But 
more importantly, what I've noticed is this clear tr zigzag trend, right? Very clear trend. You can either look at it that way or it's in a in a bit of a channel. But you know, this is a clear trend right here. But this also does the same thing on the way up. It's like a zigzag pattern and that's how it tends to go. Um, so this zigzag pattern initially started way back in December 17 and it just keeps performing, underperforming, performing, underperforming all the way down to June 19. And then it started its kind of trend upwards, right? So it started to perform really well in little bursts up until June, July, and then on the way down August. So that's probably what I'm expecting in terms of in terms of um, the crypto ratios. Let me just delete that. Because as you can see, that's clearly how it likes to perform. However, let's have a look at Kaiba on the USD chart. Now, in, the, in one of my previous videos on Kaiba, I actually did a video um, I'll, I'll put, actually put a link to that video right here. So I mentioned in this video, Kaiba is in a rising wedge. And if it if it breaks this trend line, then it's going to be, you know, a lot of downward actions for Kaiba. I got a lot of stick for that because, you know, I was saying this while it was still on the uptrend. People were hating. They were saying, what are you talking about? It's going to keep going up. Kyber just came out with this new launch, blah, blah, blah. Listen, the technicals never lie. Especially the rising wedge, you can never sustain that much upward action, you know, that much steep uh, trajectory. It's never going to last. And so, you know, it's a little bit of um, I told you so. But also, you know, this is a little less to everyone. If you have faith in your predictions you got to stick by it no matter what everyone says they're going to doubt you but if you have you know if you've done your research if you've done your your analyzing and you believe it you got to stick by it you know and there you go however that little bit of gloating aside um it does look like it's touched a very important support level if it and, and it's, it started to turn around now. So you can see the close. We've had a green candle and we've had a second green candle in the opposite direction. So it's reversed a little bit already. They're not strong green candles uh, with a lot of volume. So I'm not 100% convinced. Um, we'll have to see in the next few weeks. But this is a very um, key level of resistance. If we break this level, then my next line of resistance would be around this level over here. You can see one, when it when it broke the resist um, support previously, it bounced once on some small uh, swing low, and then we had another form of resistance. You can see the wicks hit in this area, and then clear strong swing low over here. That's what I'm looking for. So that's a, a, a big level of resistance and the next one would be or, or a, one that isn't as strong would be around here. That's around 61 cents. And you can see it kind of wicked close to there over here. So let's take a look on the daily time frame. Similarly on the daily time frame, you can see if we scroll in the past, we've got uh, this resistance over here tapped, tapped again. Going forward again, resistance was tapped, wicks, and then support over here, and it's just um, it's just gone shy of this support level again over here. So we'll have to see um, a proper break above, and then the retest of that support level, and then we have to start seeing some higher highs and higher lows. Because we've only had that one low over here, so we need to start seeing those some more consecutive highs and lows. That's what I'll be looking for for Kaiba. Um, and it kind of goes in line with the you know crypto ratios 
because on the crypto ratios it doesn't show on here if you look on the weekly it doesn't show that it's gone on an upwards trend just yet and you know you can see that it clearly likes that zigzag movement um so we need to start seeing a turnaround for kaiba on that as well so that'll be all for this video um i hope you got some value from that and you've gotten you've gotten a nice update about kaiba and see you in the next video peace